ChatGPT agent mode can turn one person into an army. I'm not talking about making blog posts or affiliate marketing fluff. I'm talking about real hustles that are practical that you can run faster, smarter, and almost on autopilot. All right, so we're in ChatGPT and we're on ChatGPT5, but we've got agent mode right here. So what agent mode is in a few sentences is ChatGPT having the ability to read information on or browse information on web pages and then kind of deliver it and kind of deliver it to you that way. So the first hustle that I'm gonna talk about today that saves you a bunch of time a bunch of research is we're gonna talk about phone flipping, all right? Now, typically in the past, what you would do is come over here to eBay. Let's do iPhone 12. Come over here, filter by sold. Kind of get an average of what each thing is going for. You'd have to go to Marketplace, go to iPhone 12, and then kind of scroll through, look, see what your margins are, blase, blase. Well, now we can ask agent mode, check eBay, sold listings all right so we're gonna start with a simple command check ebay sold listings for the median range of the iphone 12 i need to know the storage size new or used pro max nor or normal and the median prices for each so now watch what it's gonna do all right so you see here it's done all the work for us it took just eight minutes to do it's prepared a detailed report in a markdown file so pretty much it navigated ebay sold listings it did further research than even a human would think to do because ultimately we would most of the time just check the sold listings but in this case this kind of used machine learning of not only sold listing but sale prices to provide a typical sale price for similar items it collected data points it collected the medians, right? So iPhone 12, 64 gigabyte size, sells for about 170 to 188. So we know if we were going to Marketplace, this one doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Even this one, if we can maybe talk them down to 100, we know that this, we know that that goes for around that price. So that's some profit already that it's found us right open box is it's almost new but once you crack the seal of anything almost like driving a car off the lot it just goes down in value so open box isn't new but it's it's not used either it's it's kind of a middle so it's going to be hard to kind of get some open box as far as on the resale market as far as buying from people but they at least got us that info now new or sealed it got us those prices once again on the resale market it's going to be hard to find brand new so used is definitely what you're going to be looking for when you're doing iphones but now let's go up in gigabytes right most of the 128 listings were pre-owned they trend around from 170 180 to this showed a trending price this showed these are just trending prices but we're probably going to be especially for used that's what we're looking at so I'm going to come ask it. Okay, so this is just the observations. All right, cool, cool, cool. We're in the wrong place. So for, for the 128 gigabytes, there was no data on new used open box, the iPhone 12 Pro. So it pretty much it kind of told us everything used prices of course are much lower than new prices we know that but the point is is that point is is that the hour that it would have taken us to do this chat gpt did it in eight minutes i believe so that's one of the benefits but that's not all more ways that you can use agent mode especially if flipping phones is your focus because one thing that makes it so dope is that it can run every single day you can schedule it to run so you can say hey let me know when this price drops on this specific iPhone. You can do an IMEI check, right? So you can put in an IMEI and hey, run this on every publicly available IMEI uh, registry and let me know if this phone is blacklisted somewhere. And you can even train it and make it spot when trends, when iPhone trends happen. So you can say, for instance, let me know which phones are the most in demand and it's going to use artificial intelligence and think and find these results in a way that us humans just don't think to do it. All right, so now we're on to something that's blowing up and we're talking about crypto, Bitcoin specifically. Now I say it's blowing up, but it's been blown up. Honestly, here's a question that I always wondered, right? Why do different exchanges have different Bitcoin prices? Well, market demand varies across exchanges based on user demographics. Different exchanges may have varying trading volumes, affecting price stability, liquidity can differ, influencing how 
quickly assets can be bought or sold without impacting the price. So what that means is there are people making money simply off of different exchanges via Bitcoin. So research and tell me daily scan 10 plus Bitcoin exchanges and in real time ping me when the gap is juicy, which means a 100 to $400 difference. And now the agent is working. And that's wild. You see what it's doing. It's like, it's honestly like a super smart person. So weird. All right. So you see right here, it's kind of grabbed all the prices of Bitcoin from all the popular exchanges. And now, boom, you see right here, buy on Bitfinex and sell on white bit. The difference is $387. So there's already some profit. Now, here's a disclaimer too. Here's something that you definitely got to know. A whole Bitcoin is over a hundred thousand dollars right now. So, so when it comes to when it comes to that, right? When it comes to that, you're making three hundred dollars on uh, or let's round it up to four hundred dollars. You're making four hundred dollars on a uh, hundred thousand dollars. So that's crazy. A lot of people will tell you, oh no, that's not good investing, and maybe it's not. However, you don't have to have a hundred thousand dollars to trade Bitcoin. So I'm gonna take agent mode off and ask it real quick. So. If I was buying $500 on Bitfinex and sold on white. So if I was buying how much? So granted, while this isn't, as I would say, ideal, um, this just shows you the power of what agent mode can do, but it doesn't stop there. You can also do peer to peer spread flips. Now what peer to peer spread, what peer to peer spread flips are people buy Bitcoin on peer to peer apps, right? Cash app, Venmo, PayPal, you name it. Right. And they often pay a premium. However, what we can do with agent mode is make it track P2P demand in our region and then match us with overpaying buyers, right? So the trick is you buy Bitcoin on a normal exchange, but then you resell four or five to 10% markup. So now we're talking about a lot more profit, right? So let's say, all right, so I said, let's do a peer to peer spread track P2P demand in my region and then match us with overpaying buyers. All right, so that only took two minutes. Now it's letting me know that it can't make the trades for me, which I know it can provide information. So on the peer to peer market, a Bitcoin trades for 150K, right? This is far above the 112K. So here's the sauce pretty much. What you do is, you buy, let's say $500 worth of Bitcoin on a regular exchange, right? Uh, let's say $500, right? Now it sits in your exchange wallet. Then like, let's say you got Cash App. So boom, at this point, you have a Bitcoin address, right? Can y'all see that? Boom, you have a Bitcoin address on your Cash App. So you would simply just transfer that over and then cash it out. Whatever profit is yours. And that's, that's, that's exactly how you would do that. I want to be honest with you and tell you when it comes to Bitcoin, generally buying and holding is the best way to make like profit and in dividends with it. However, using chat GPT agent mode, you can certainly make some quick little, you know what I'm saying here and there. And more importantly, this just goes to show you that agent mode is like a research bank. It, it does a lot, bro. It could do um, a lot of stuff. And once again, it does it better than a human. Uh, it thinks in ways that we don't think. So this next method is crazy. All right, so now we are back in ChatGPT and this next section is I'm gonna cover how ChatGPT agent mode can pretty much turn you into a sports betting god. Now, since MLB is the only real thing going on right now, shout out to the uh, WNBA and preseason, but as far as betting goes, this is the MLB is where it's at right now, right? So typically, you know, you bet money line, all that. This isn't a, I do have a sports betting tutorial if you want to check that out, but this isn't what that is right now. What this is, is showing you how it can accelerate it, right? Now there's several ways, there's several ways that agent mode can accelerate you as a sports better, right? So line shopping, you could line shop because the truth is line odds are slightly different on every sports book. We can scan because we know chat GPT agent mode. It's specialty is scanning and scraping data. We can scan 10 sports books instantly find out like FanDuel has plus 120 while DraftKings is only 105 or whatever. But you're, if we're going to do that, then we're going to literally be flipping the better odds. But I want to do something better than that player 
props, right? Player props get people rich, bro. And they are hidden gems and they are hard to hit, but the lines move fast. But what he can do, he can track Reddit, beat writers, Twitter for injury updates, lineup changes, alerts before sports books even adjust, right? So if your star point guard is downgraded to questionable, then it'll ping, agent mode can ping you, and then boom, you can make your adjustments before the sports books updates, right? Trend tracker, right? This is probably the one, but this next one is crazy. And I'm talking about trend tracking, right? Realistically, we don't have time to track hundreds of games for patterns, right? And before comparing computers back in the sheet the paper days you can become your own sports book right you can become your own sports book because what i'm about to show you that agent mode does people did this before the internet people did this before computers so a sports better a sports bookie would do all these hours of research and come up with money lines and of course they had a sort of a universal system but they would do that and come up with it that way well now agent mode can do that for you now so let's go I said MLB, track 100 games for patterns for sports betting. Ultimately want to be my own bookie over here. Auto build spreadsheets from ESPN and other betting sites to spot trends. Like for instance, every time the Rangers play X, they miss the spread by minus seven points. Or every time the Rangers play at home with X pitcher, they cover or whatever my spread may be. So now it's asking me, I can help you track. However, I need some more details. Which teams, pitchers do you want to focus on initially? Let's go all of them okay all of them bro duh i'm talking about this season and to make it easier we know we can do them all but let's just talk about the rangers all right so now it's doing the work it only had to work for four minutes and it gave me a csv file called rangers run line so here's the here's the data here's the overall overall summary in 126 games the rangers covered the run line 66 times 34 at home 32 away and missed 60 times the average run line differential was zero plus 0 0.44 runs at home and plus 0.25 runs on the road right so strong matchups the rangers consistently cover against minnesota and st louis beating the line by an average of 8.5 and 5.5 runs respectively with large covers such as a plus 13.5 run differential at minnesota june 10th and another against st louis on may 30th right so we know okay boom when the rangers face minnesota and st louis they give them a beating not only do they give them beating because that doesn't always mean that in sports betting sometimes it means that those teams are maybe supposed to beat the rangers but the rangers give them a good fight so that's what that means right weak matchups they struggled against cincinnati philadelphia oh a lot of teams for example at home against kansas city on 17th through 19th of june they lost all all three games and missed the run line by minus 6.5 so that means yeah they struggle against them or once again not all the time in sports betting sometimes that means that they maybe beat those teams are supposed to miss beat those teams but they don't beat them as badly as vegas says they should beat them so that's something that would have taken us a long time if we were going through the data uh to look at right so these insiders who y'all pay picks for picks and stuff like this they have this information and whether they built programs or whatever to get this information now agent mode does it for you trend examples underdog lines they produce huge covers this pretty much shows us that hey the this season this is what you can expect from the rangers and you can do this with any sport now when it comes to betting that's not the only way now once again with sports betting that does not mean that that's the only way right because in sports betting agent mode can track line movements right this is what pro bettors do because those sharp money line moves those are sometimes the difference in hundreds or thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars so you can tell agent mode to track those trends right even the day of a game hey if the cowboys are playing and and that line moves let me know right so if it swings from minus seven to minus 5.5 that might change your whole bet and some people have already locked their bets in see what i'm saying so no this isn't teaching you how to bet this isn't teaching you how to gamble what this is is showing you that chat gpt agent mode can completely accelerate and uh do a lot of the grunt work faster than humans can so the next video i have for y'all is gonna be legendary rico gang i love y'all we out let's go